So how do you tie your uniform? Is that right? Hey guys, it's Sabrina from The Karate Shrimp. Today I'm going to show you two different ways to tie your uniform. And I'm going to explain to you which one I prefer and why. You can tie this in two different ways. So the first way you just do a double knot. So tie it once and then loop it through and then you tie it again. Now, the advantage of this is it's not going to come untied very easily. The problem with this, what if you want to get those pants off in a hurry? What if you have to go to the bathroom? This can be a pain to get off. Also, now you have these long strings that you have to stuff into your pants and they're going to be dangling around being really annoying. OK, so I prefer to do the bunny ears approach. So you start off. You do a single knot like that. You make a loop. Go around, pull the other loop through that hole and just snug it tight. And these usually stay tied and you can tuck them in like this. You're supposed to have your waistband up above your belly button, but for this video, I'm not going to do that because I can't stand how that feels. Uh, if you have to go to the bathroom, if you take your pants off, really easy to do. This works for me. So now I'm going to show you how to tie your gi top. There's two different ways you can do it as well. You want to end up with the label on the outside. So this part of the jacket gi top is going to be on the outside. OK, so on the inside of this one, on the side with the label, you'll see a string here. This one you want to tie to this one. OK, when I started, I did the bunny ears. Tie it like that. Make a loop. Go around the loop. Pull the other string through that hole. Snug it tight. OK, and then I would come across here and do the same thing on this side. One knot, pull it snug, make a loop, bunny ear, go around, pull that one through, snug it tight. The benefit of this technique is when you want to get your gi off really quickly, it's easy to do. The problem with this technique is that your gi can open up really easily. I've had that happen so many times while sparring, my gi top opened up. Also, I've gotten fingers and weapons caught in these loops so many times when doing a kata or other technique. So I don't like this one. Other thing I don't like is it's kind of lumpy. It doesn't look really nice. See, it's kind of sticking out. You get this lump here from the knot. So what I prefer to do is just a double knot. So again, label is on the outside. Open up the label side, grab the tie, grab the other one from this side, and I just do two knots. One, two, you can make this nice and tight so it's not going to open up. This is a great one to do parents. If you have kids in karate, do this one with your kids so that the instructors don't have to spend the class retying people's uniforms. So again, pull it across one knot and then the second knot, pull it tight. You do have these strings hanging down. I've never had an issue with them. They do lay flatter. It looks nicer. It's a little bit more work to untie if you've tied it really tight. You have to get out of that uniform in a hurry, but it does stay together when you're training. And then, of course, finish it off with your belt. I do have a belt video. You can check it out here on how to tie your belt. But I'll just show you. So you fold it in half, halfway point on your belly button. You're going to cross them in the back. Pull it snug. OK, cross one here. It doesn't matter which way you cross it. Other one goes over top. The one that's over top, you're going to reach underneath with your hands behind all of it, behind both layers. Grab the belt, pull it up. OK, this part that's on top stays on top. The one on the side, I kind of bend it this way sideways. One on top, I fold down. Now you have a hole here. I reach through with my hand. Grab the one that's in the front, pull through. OK, and that's it. If your belt is brand new and really stiff and sticking out funny, check out this video. I show you a technique on how to soften that new belt.